Now for some dramatic images of a volcano erupting for the first time in over 30 years on one of the Galapagos Islands. The consequences for the wildlife, which famously inspired Charles Darwin's theory of evolution, are very serious. Lava is flowing down the volcano's southern face and recently discovered pink iguanas, which are officially an endangered species, inhabit the opposite side of the volcano. Lucky escape. Now Godfrey Merlin is a biological assessor in the Galapagos and he joins us from the smaller Santa Cruz Island which is home to the National Park. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, in terms of this pink iguana, it only lives on this particular northern face of the volcano. It's lucky it's not on the other side. Yes, uh, that is uh, true. The pink iguana, um, uh, although searched for on other volcanoes of the Galapagos archipelago, um, only appears to live on the northern uh, slopes, even up to the rim of the large caldera and the hole in the middle of the volcano. Um, uh, they live on that northern side of the, um, uh, of the volcano. Um, the, this is a, a, an interesting situation for, um, it's clear that at the moment, the volcano that is erupting or the, uh, the, the rift on the main volcano, which has come into volcanic action, um, is on the other side of the uh, large caldera. And at this moment in time, it is not perceived that there is a grave risk to the uh, pink iguana population. In terms of the other wildlife, of course, this archipelago is so important, inspired Charles Darwin. In terms of the other wildlife, how much, how much danger how much difficulty could they face because of the eruption? Um, in the area where the uh, lava is proceeding down the um, side of the, uh, um, of the big volcano, um, it is mostly covered with fairly open lava fields. Uh, there is some vegetation on them, um, but not a great deal of wildlife. Uh, it must be remembered, of course, that uh, the whole Galapagos archipelago is composed of volcanoes um, and volcanism is something the wildlife, uh, all, the, all the plants and animals of Galapagos have to live with and uh, sometimes the consequences are more uh, serious for the wildlife uh, and sometimes not so serious. Um, there was an overflight uh, made a, a yesterday uh, by the Park Service, um, that would have been at about four o'clock um, in, uh, in England. Um, and um, unfortunately, there was low cloud over the top of the volcano, and it was not easy to determine exactly uh, what has happened. Um, however, they were not able to detect from the aeroplane they flew in, a, a military aircraft, uh, uh, any um, real strong uh, lava flows um, and um, it is not certain at this time uh, how strongly the eruption is continuing. Um, this began uh, just after midnight um, a, a, a day ago and um, at uh, zero hours and 58 minutes there was a, uh, an earthquake coming from about 10 kilometers underneath the surface of the uh, uh, of the volcano, and immediately there was uh, a, a, a very impressive, uh, a spectacular, I might say, um, display of what is known as the curtain of fire, um, where the lava is emitting from um, a fissure, a circumferential a fissure, which sort of follows the line of the, um, of the caldera, probably for over a kilometer in length, and from that, there came many streams of golden covered lava um, going down the slopes, the flanks of the volcano. Um, it is not clear um, that the lava um, has reached the sea. It does not appear to have reached the sea. Um, I have been present at several volcanoes where uh, the lava has reached the sea and other volcanoes of the Galapagos. And there is usually quite a heavy toll of fish and even uh, marine iguanas, but it is incredible um, the recovery of these animals after, um, after eruptions, they settle down and 
and die out. So yes. this eruption may not be long lasting. Indeed. Godfrey, apologies for interrupting, but we have to leave it there. Your experience is astounding. Godfrey Marlin, who has lived on the Galapagos for 45 years. Thank you very much, sir. Good choice for the pink iguana to stay on the northern side of that volcano.